Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Burning Dog fans. We're starting a new run of Eve, and this is the first item. Strange Attractor, Magnetic Tears. So Eve already didn't have enough weird bullshit on her head. Why does Eve have a dead bird on her head? Why is that her thing? The really nice thing about, uh, about Eve is that both of her starting things are, uh, are passive. When I play as Magdalene, I'm always very hesitant to get rid of, uh, the Yum Heart, because without it, she's just a slower Isaac. A lot of bad experiences with random pills today. That's not so bad. May your rage bring power. I'm gonna use that in the boss room because I feel like the Empress might. Ow. Might uh, summon me to the boss room. Piss drink! The Castlevania reference is really nice. Uh -huh. I need to get at least one health, one half health back, so that if I, if and when I take damage in the boss room. Oh, it's still on. Huh, I thought the uh, Horror of Babylon only kicked in for the room where you took the damage. Fuck it! Larry Jr! As I'm sure I've noted elsewhere, this is apparently a reference to a boss in Super Meat Boy, which Edmund McMillan also worked on, called Larry's Lament, which also consisted of a giant worm. Thank Christ. Are you a wizard? Oh fuck! I get that. The guy from the Are You a Wizard meme is cross-eyed. You know, at least Isaac's too stupid to get it. No. Whoa, whoa. Now they're going straight again. Oh, magnetic tears! They're not gra gravitating towards enemies, they pull shit towards them! Give Eve another try. Uh. 
That was weird, the way that Are You a Wizard just stopped what happening. Fuck you, turds! Oh good, a parasite of some kind. Leech, bloodsucker. Okay. Ah! Uh -oh. oh. A nickel? Understand there is an exceedingly rare uh, dollar item which gives you a hundred uh, cents. Wait, why am I just edging up to the door like that? I don't even have a key. I was doing that thing where I'm slowing down so that I don't go into the next room and get distracted as fuck before I. Uh, finish my thought. It's like having my own maggot. I'll take that. Well, my little friend, let's keep going. Right, sorry. I want you to stop for a second and imagine something. I want you to imagine what the Binding of Isaac would look like with realistic graphics. A small, naked child with tears streaming down his or her face running through a filthy, horrible dungeon brimming with shit, blood, and, uh, grotesque mutated demons that often explode into shit, piss, or blood when they die. That one turned into a puddle. That's one of the more benign deaths. Oh, that's why. No, fuck it. One of these days I'll accidentally collect 55 and then I'll have Kane. Where's that Judas? Whichever one. No, I think Judas is the one that just says locked. Like, just imagine what this would fucking look like in realistic graphics, would you? No. Fine, okay, take out the thing first. I always take out the damn kid first. Get him, buddies! What's this box? Stuff. Oh, wow. Two prayers for the lost. Now fuck that pill this time. Fuck it! Wait, it's not labeled, is it? No. I like that sound effect though, I gotta say. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought.
Fuck yeah! You be dead! I have full life, which means the horror of Babylon goes away when I walk through the door? Yes. I do see those symbols appearing over me occasionally. Don't know what they mean. My estimate is that sometimes the leech can drain health from bad guys and give it to me. Why are turds appearing? Oh, I accidentally used the card and it gave me two soul hearts. Three dollar bill, Rainbow Tears. Three dollar bill is obviously fake, so... Oh, right, I remember Rainbow Tears. Rainbow Tears means that they have a different effect in every room. So here I shoot two at once. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Oh, that was the one I just used. I don't know what it is here. It sure is nice to see uh, one of these fucking kids smiling. Oh! And I can ignore that. Monstro! Everyone's friend. What? No! He does seem so happy when he jumps. Still more difficult than, uh, the Duke of Flies, and let's be fair, he would kick my ass if I had that pitiful range on that last Maggie run. Oh. How come roguelikes are never, uh... I don't know, happy and cheery? Yeah! I'm just thinking at this point of, uh... Actually, someone recommended a game called Darkest Dungeon to me, but I don't know, that looks... Super grim. Like, not this grim, but, you know. Just thinking of it, because this is just... An, this is what the average boss room looks like when you're done with it. Sometimes there's a lot more feces.
great. Thanks, Rainbow Tears. That was definitely a turd. But hey, that one gave me a free coin, so... Ugh. Good one to have in here. There's maggots all over the floor. Oh, hey, I need to get to those arts right now. Space shooter games when I was a kid. Scrolling shooters? I don't remember what the genre term is. And, uh. It's called Major Striker. I only ever had the, uh. the shareware version. Okay. But I remember that, uh. You know, as you do in these games, there were power-ups, and they affected the way your shots worked. The first one made it so that you shot two shots forward instead of uh, one. And the next one was three shots forward instead of two. And I always really liked that stage, because you would do a ton of damage to whatever you hit. And I never liked that the stage after that was, uh... Yeah, I got this one before, you see why it reminds me. I never liked that the stage after the three shots forward was one shot forward and two shots at diagonals in front of you. Yeah, so it would spread out your three shots. And I never liked that because it just didn't dole out as much harshness to one source anymore. But after that, it was the three diagonals forward and one straight behind you. And I think the final level was that plus one straight right and one straight left. So at that point, you're just covering the field in firepower. You can just sort of hover around the middle and dodge bullets. So at that point, it's alright, but before you get there...
When did I pick up a heart? Huh. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of, uh, Let's Descend, that's what it is, Let's Descend the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. When Eve continues her journey into the depths. Later.